Congratulations, Brian. You just went yaya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, what a special night. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame Foundation Board and Committee, uh, the state of Georgia. Couldn't have done it without you fans out there. Thank you for your support. And thank you to the class of 2021. Congratulations. Uh, this feels special to be in, especially with a former teammate and, and Tom Glavin. But so many great athletes. And Tony, I love you. I really... Uh, Got to give a special thanks, though, for uh, a former uh, inductee, Jamie Kaplan. You know, Jamie, if you know her, she's so special. And she invited me years and years ago to Kevin Brown's golf tournament. And I came down and I had the chance to meet with Jamie. And her personality is just so infectious. And I didn't know much about Jamie. I thought she was just a director of the golf tournament. And I later found out she was a great tennis player. So I used to call up now and say, hey, you got to come and be a celebrity at my golf tournament. So thank you, Jamie, for your support. You've always said you need to be in the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. And thank you so much for uh, saying that and being a part of getting me in here. I really appreciate that. I got to thank my family. I dragged my two sons, younger sons here, and like Tom, my older kids, they're all over the place. I don't have a clue where they're at right now, but, you know, if it wasn't for them, uh, their support, and, and being a two-sport athlete, you can imagine, I was away from the family an awful lot, and I owe it to their mom for, for being there, and I owe it to my best friends here, Georgette, who has always been by my side. My good buddies, Brent Benson and, and Mike Mulder, thank you for being here. My brothers from another mother. Uh, I got to thank the mayor, Lester Miller, a good friend of mine. I came down years ago with his Game On baseball organization, got a chance to speak. And you've come a long way, Lester. Congratulations to being the mayor. Uh, I also want to thank the Atlanta Braves. See, John Sherholtz here. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to come to Atlanta and play for the Braves. Uh, it was an easy decision when I was a free agent. And uh, thank you guys for rolling out the red carpet and bringing me here. I also want to thank the Atlanta Falcons organization for allowing me to play here in Georgia. One of the greatest states in America right now. I really appreciate it. But more importantly, my mom and dad. My dad is probably looking down on me so celebrating right now. And my mom is back home because of uh, health reasons. She couldn't make it down. Uh, it was them it's to put me where I am today. Uh, their leadership. Uh, as a kid, they made me sit down and dream. And of course, as a kid, I was like, I want to be a three-sport athlete. And they never told me I couldn't. You know, they, they said, no dream is too big. No dream is too small. And my mom made me write my goals down, and I never gave up on my dreams. And when you can believe it, then you can achieve it. And that's what they instilled in me. And I remember my dad always telling me, keeping me humble. Uh, my grandfather, who always bragged about my dad, all I wanted to do was be better than my dad. And I got a quick story. I was uh, playing Optimus football. And... My granddad used to always tell me about my dad being great. I scored five touchdowns and ran for over 200 yards in one game. And forget about McDonald's. You know, as a kid, that was the celebration. I wanted to go straight to my grandfather and celebrate that I had to be better than my dad. And my grandfather was leaning over his chair. He looked at me smiling, and he said, you must have had a good day. And I said, you know what, Pop Pop? I scored five touchdowns, 220-something yards. He looked at me and said, well, your dad probably would have ran for 300 and scored six touchdowns. And that lesson right there kept me humble for the rest of my life. And he always told me, I don't care how good you are, there's somebody better than you out there. And I remember signing with University of Richmond. We would go down every spring and play Southern teams. We went to Auburn. Who do I see? Bo Jackson. 
And I called my dad after the game. He's like, you're right, dad. I got to keep working. And then I go down to Florida State, and I see this kid jumping the fence with a track uniform on, running over to the baseball diamond, and it was Deion Sanders. And I called him again, like, Dad, I got to keep working. But uh, thanks to their support, I mean, it pushed me to be who I am. And to write children's books today and inspire kids, that's my mission in life. Uh, I thank my board members for being here, uh, always in support of what we do for kids. And that's the kids are our next generation. And if we're not here to help those guys, we're lost. So through my children's book, through my foundation, uh, we're going to make a difference. I want to thank the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame again for selecting me this year. And thank you all.